all right welcome back to another video you guys we are taking the e-bike camping i've got it all loaded up with my gear and man do i have a bunch of stuff <laughs> in bomb outdoor fashion we are camping it up so i've got the e-bike and it's at 100 percent right now and we've done three miles so we have a little ways to go before we get to our campsite um but yeah i'm already cruising really good this is a nice paved trail and i'm having fun you guys so the plan for tonight is to just find a campsite set everything up hang out eat some dinner and then tomorrow we're going to take the bike on a little bit longer of a ride and see how well this thing does how far maybe we can go we're out in beautiful idaho and it's just a good day for a ride now the e-bike that I have here is the Ingwe Engine Pro. This is a 750 watt hub motor and it's really nice. It's one of those collapsible foldable bikes. So it makes it easy to kind of take it wherever you want. You don't have to have a bike rack in order to use this bike. So I thought that was awesome. downhill though <laughs> but one complaint is that I brought polarized sunglasses and you can't see the screen with the polarized sunglasses so I keep having to move them out of the way that's something to remember for next time but yeah it's peppy it's fast I'm eight miles now. We're getting real close to the campsite. I think I gotta take a ride up here. mirrors on this thing It'd be much safer another upgrade all right we're coming into the campground see if there's any spots Hopefully we can find a camp spot here. <laughs>
tent camping this way. All right, we made it, you guys. Made it to this beautiful campsite. Now, we have been here before. Uh, we did a family adventure here um, in one of the past videos. And so it's kind of nice to kind of come back here and check it out, uh, but doing it with the e-bike. So I'm excited to be here tonight. We're just gonna have a good time, relax, and uh, just check out the view. Might do a little fishing later. We'll see, it depends on how fast I can get everything set up. I've got a big old tent here that we're going to use and it's kind of designed for well not really an e-bike but a motorcycle so it's a motorcycle tent but i figured it would work really well with the e-bike so we'll get that set up real quick get camp all situated and then we'll just relax I got the tent all squared away, you guys. Everything is set up. Oh man, it's getting windy though. Really windy. It's nice to be in the tent though. So this tent is pretty tall. 
I can stand inside of it. I'm not six foot six. I'm five foot six. <laughs> that was a joke from a, in a previous video. So just to clarify you guys, I can stand in this tent and it is super nice. So right here's the inner shell. Um, I've got all, all types of stuff kind of lined up in there. And here we go, there's our bed. So this is a two person tent and there's just so much room in here. I mean, I've got the bike in here. Um, even if you had a motorcycle, this, this would have plenty of room. You can open a door here and you can also open that door which I'll go ahead and do real quick. Sit right here, open that up, and you got a nice looking view. <laughs> Definitely nice. Really nice, you guys. All right, we're gonna go check out the uh, the lake down here. It's so windy, I can see white caps on the uh, on the lake. Like I said, some of you guys might remember this. Um, I came down here about a year ago with the family, and it is just beautiful out here. Oh man, beautiful spot right here. Let's sit on the log for a few minutes and just relax. I did bring my fishing gear, but I think it's a little too windy right now. Man, the only thing that can make this better is a cup of coffee. Sit here, sipping on a cup of coffee. We'll do that tomorrow morning. Let's go check out that dock. It looks pretty beat up. I don't know. Is it safe? We shall find out. <laughs> Kind of sketchy. <laughs> Check out these lily pads. I'm getting wet there. Woo. So windy. 
Man. I don't know. All I see is seaweed out here. If you guys can even hear me. I don't think it'll be very good fishing from this spot. It's windy. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this day. I thank you for the, the beautiful bike ride that I had, just coming into this beautiful place that you've created. And I just thank you so much for that, Lord. And I just thank you for Jesus. Lord, I continue to pray for those that don't know him. And Lord, I pray that they will come to know him as Lord and Savior. I thank you for this food, and I just pray that you will bless it to my body. Be with me tonight. Keep the family safe as I'm away. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, check this out. Oh, look at that. That is a Parmesan crusted, I don't even know what you want to call it, turkey, turkey, uh, <laughs> it's got Parmesan crust on it. We've got turkey, tomato, avocado, and then I think we have Havarti cheese, I think. 
I can't remember. <laughs> but it looks absolutely delicious. And then I also have some tomato basil soup to go with it. So let's cut into that real quick and see what it looks like. Looks good, looks really good, you guys. First bite. Oh, that's good. That is really good, you guys. So the turkey on it is pepper turkey. So it gives it a nice little kick too. Whew, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know about you guys, but I always dip mine in my tomato soup. A lot of time has passed since I uh, recorded. <laughs> I just did a live stream um, and I hung out with all you guys. It was really good to kind of just do a live stream while I'm out here. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be up here. So it's currently 1041 and I am tired, you guys. I had a whole lot of fun today. Um, dinner was awesome. It was super good. And just watching the sunset and all that, it was really cool. I had a I had a really good night. So now it's time to bed down and get ready to go to sleep. But before I do that, we're gonna do mail call. So I had a couple items come to me. I had a card sent to me, and this was sent to me by Dave. It's a really good card. I just wanted to say thank you, Dave, for sending that to me. It's really cool. I like the little dog on it. <laughs> <laughs> also, I got a book. This came from Tony. And it is The Spooky Tales and True Stories of Kentucky. So, thank you so much for sending that to me, Tony. Um, I'm going to kind of check it out and uh, find some of my favorite ones. And then maybe I'll read them to you guys later on in another video. But I just thought that was really cool. Thanks, Tony, for sending that to me. I'm excited to read these stories. I don't know if I'm going to do it at night, though. I did read one already, actually. And it was... I read the story of the Cumberland River Bigfoot Legend. I probably shouldn't have read it. Not tonight, at least. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, to lead into this, though, if there are Bigfoot out there, we're going to catch them because I put up the trail cam. So we'll take a look at the trail cam really quick. See what that looks like. All right, there it is. I just have it pointed right at the, the tent there. We'll hit record real quick. There. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know that we'll see anything. I don't know what those things are, though, out there. Something reflecting. Right? Just reflection? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. So if we do catch anything, I'll make sure to tell you guys. But I, I don't think so. I kind of have it in a terrible spot, really. But I'm not, I'm not going to get out there right now. I'm ready to go to bed. All right, you guys, I'm going to hit the sack. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good night.
Oh, good morning. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. That sun's coming up. So that means, so that means I gotta get up and have a cup of coffee so I can see the sunrise. Oh man, my old bones ache. 46 degrees Fahrenheit. I stayed nice and warm last night, but it did get a little chilly. We're starting to get that, uh, that chill in the air. Feels good. All right, let's climb out of here. Oh, wow. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Check it out. All right, let me get my stuff so we can go down there and yeah, yeah. go down there and have a cup of joe. Oh, wow. This is pretty. can't quite see the sun though. I think we'll go over to the dock and set up over there. Wow, it is beautiful. Maybe I'll just set up right here. Got a nice view. That feels really good. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Wow. That's amazing looking. About to have a cup of coffee here in just a minute. Just need a boil. Just need a little bit of a boil. Hoo -hoo -hoo, that feels good. Nothing like that vitamin D in the morning, you guys. Feels so good. What a nice way to start the morning. Beautiful sunrise, delicious coffee, a little bit of reading. I don't think I'm gonna do any fishing this morning. The more I look at this, the more I can just tell it's gonna be a snag. Um, the water is very, very shallow in a way because all of the weeds, as you can see, maybe you can see them, they're poking up over there. Maybe what I'll do is, uh, on my bike ride, maybe I'll find a spot to pull over and do a little bit of fishing or something. Speaking of bike ride, it is currently 7.30 in the morning. So, 
I'll get up there, make some breakfast, get camp all torn down, and then uh, we'll hit the road. We'll hit the pavement, hit the trail, move on out of here. Go where nobody else, no, people have been there. Go where I've never been before. <laughs> All right, breakfast is served. I've got oatmeal with brown sugar, as well as I added some blueberries to it. And it tastes good. I think it'll give me enough energy, at least I hope. I don't know how far I'm gonna make it on the bike today. I really do wanna test it out to see if I can uh, drain the battery and how far I can go, I don't know. I guess we'll just find out. So I better eat up as well as hydrate. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a really good day. So I didn't see anything on the trail cam. I did hear some uh, some movement out there, but uh, the camera was not anywhere that it could have seen it. So probably just a couple deer walking through. I'm sure of it. At least I hope so. If it's anything like the story I read last night, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep that quiet. <laughs> All right, it's time to pack up. It's already nine o'clock. Gotta get out of here. Gotta hit the trail, you guys. See how far we can make it. All right, let's bust down camp. All right, let's do it the easy way. Ta-da! Man, I really like that method of taking a tent down. <laughs> oh, packed up and everything. Just gotta put her on the back. And we are out of here. All right, you guys, so far we have 10.1 miles that we've gone on this trip. Now that's including some of my stops and stuff like that, but we will see from here how far we can go. Uh, battery status is at 97% and we've got a little bit of a trek to go. So we'll see what we can find. We're back on the trail. Let's see where this leads. I'm not sure if those are used anymore. Look like old boat boat garages. Is that what you call it? A boat garage? <laughs> Very cool. 
All right, we're coming up to the uh, the bridge for the train. I I've been across this a long time ago when I was a youngin. I don't know if I ever went all the way across though. I think we turned around. Boy, am I excited to go up that though. That's gonna be cool. I do have one problem right now though. My shoes are really slippery on these pegs. All right, here's the bridge. Wow. This is cool. Going right up it. Well, ain't that a sight? That is cool. Man, this is awesome. So, we came from over there. That's over there is where we were camping. So far, I've rode all the way around. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. Don't worry, I ain't gonna hurt you. I'll leave you right there, mister. You enjoying the view? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We got another hill here. These are fun. <laughs> Little whoop de doos. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> We've gone 15.1 miles. We got 83% battery. We're looking good. I don't know that I can actually go the full distance of this battery today. <laughs> As that's a lot of riding and a lot of miles. We'll see what we can do. Maybe I just need to pump it up. Just go fast, I guess. There's a lot of people on the trail today, so I don't really want to want to cause any trouble. E-bikes are allowed on this trail, so I'm not breaking any rules. I had to stop. I'm getting a little saddle sore. <laughs> uh, that's definitely something I'll have to upgrade. So we have made it 
So we've made it 24 and a half miles and we still have 60% battery. That's really good, you guys. Um, I'm very happy with that. I think I've tested it enough. <laughs> I don't have enough time to uh, continue down the trail. So I've got to turn around and head back to my rally point with the family. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Hey, look, it's my family! I made it!